the best story of those two. Yeah, I think that's such important history. Yeah. Yeah. I think we should have been one of the greatest singers, yes. Anthony Cole. Yes. And that story is how he got it started. Mm -hmm. So we're going to do this Billy Holiday song, song now and see all you've changed. The world needs more love. Yes, it does. And we're doing another love song here. Is that the joy to have some beautiful women in my home today? Is that still your best? And everybody's pretty. <laughs> Oh, I mean, I like to do it with the verse, if I may. I don't know the verse, but we're gonna try. I don't know the I have an awfully funny feeling that this thought that's been a stealing through my brain is not to be ignored. But you really tell the truth, though I am not a well-known sleuth. I honestly believe that you are bored. You changed. That sparkle in your eyes gone. Your smile is just a candid yawn. You're breaking my heart, you change. Yeah, yeah. You change. Your kisses now are so blase. You're bored with me and it.
She's a friend of Rudy's, and Rudy's asked her to come today. Wow. And so I'm happy. Oh, Thank you, Rudy. Wow. You set up the jewel. Wow. <laughs> <laughs> I just found this song I want to do. I don't remember all the words. Okay. It's a beautiful song. Amy. Amy and I used to do this song. We toured in Japan together. And it was a big hit at the club in Japan. They worked at a wonderful mafia club. It was called a mafia club. Let me shut up. But it was a private club. Yeah. Extremely private. I don't think they had a name on the door. And you would see limousines park. And you would see Japanese businessmen in the most expensive black suits I've seen. With young girls who weren't their, young ladies who weren't their wives. And they would eat at this place. Where we yes, and where we sang, and I sang, and we did our show, and this song, Japanese love this song, so we're gonna do this song. Right. I, have, I don't know the words. I don't remember the words. In uh, B flat. This was a big hit by Patty Page. Patty Page, this big hit, by Patty Page, really big hit. I was dancing 
with my darling. To the dynasty walls With an old friend I happen to see I introduced her, him to my loved one And while they were dancing My friend stole my sweetheart from me. I remember the night and the jealousy Yes. Now I know just how much I have loved. I lost my little darling The night they were playing The beautiful jealousy oh. One more time I was dancing with my darling To the jealousy oh. With an old friend I happened to see I introduced him to my loved one And while they were dancing My friend stole my sweetheart from me Now I know just how much I have lost. Yes, I lost my little darling. The night they were playing the beautiful jazz. nice song. Yeah. It's a very pretty song. Yeah, it is. And uh, we Excellent. did it in Japan, often wow. over there. And the Japanese, they loved our show. We had a magnificent grand piano. Ooh. Wasn't it a magnificent piano? Yes, what is an instrument? Yes, and you know, the Japanese had the great sound, <laughs> had the great sound system. Mm. And sometimes it would only be eight people, ten people in the whole room. Mm -hmm. It was an intimate place. Yes. And those ten people would spend, you know, a thousand dollars, ten thousand dollars each. Mm. Oh, yes. That's the kind of place they were. And they had big. I'm sorry. Oh, yeah, I tell that story. Thank you. She just read your story. Uh, maybe it was unintentional, but it's a great story. So I must tell it. Oh, was it? Okay. <laughs> she said it was intentional, and it was, because I forgot. But but we were in Japan. Please. Oh, okay. We were in Japan. And um, one night they were, we're just done our last, we're done, we have one more song to do. So we're, we're doing this last song. And um, and um, so a, a couple walked in, an elderly Asian man, a Japanese man, very, I mean really the suit was so black it made you quiver. He was very expensive black suit. Truly it was just immaculate. And a young lady on his arm, so they took a seat and ordered something. And Emmy and I, we did some song. I don't know what we did. And uh, they asked the owner, Maury, to come and ask the Emmy and I to do another song. And they gave us $500 mm -hmm. to do this song. Now they had no, you know, we did, what we did, Fly Me to the Moon. We did Fly Me to the Moon. And after the song, they gave us $500. 
with the tip, say thank you. And they say, can you do one more song? Hello? <laughs> so we did another song. And it was another $500. <laughs> Kind of place it was. Like that, yeah. That's the kind of place it was. Why doesn't that ever happen? I know what you mean. It was, and he, uh, well, it was fun. It was that was a great experience. Yeah, sure. Great experience. And I got this. I got to perform for the expo, the Asian Expo. That's it was right. in 2005. That was important. I think it was. Yeah. And because, we well, see, I'm working on a one-man show. I'm working on one man show by my life called Tainted. Most fascinating story. From the time I was born in 1953 until 2019 and beyond. But, um, so I'm working on this story about my life growing up in Louisiana and uh, dreading going to school and having the most magnificent childhood imaginable. My childhood was like a storybook. It, you know, anything I, could, anything I thought I wanted, my parents gave me get from me. Particularly love and respect, honor, mm. and so I had a wonderful childhood. But you know, after high school, well, they, they they graduated me from high school, not because I passed. <laughs> I didn't pass. <laughs> and, and I didn't. I flunked actually. But in my senior year, I had a Mustang convertible, wow. blue. Mm -hmm. So brand new, up the stove on floor. Oh, wow. So it was you know, sex, drugs, and rock and roll. I like seen, yeah, they went to class, all they were so drunk and had fun. I really did. But they wanted to get rid of me. Colleen would say this. This is my cousin. What's your name again, darling? Julie. Julie. Julie is here, my cousin in Baton Rouge, Colleen. And Julie were together. So all these stories I'm telling you, my cousin get back up. <laughs> it's like everything, my life is open books since I was five. But, uh, and it's documented. But, uh, so. I didn't, you know, I just had fun in high school, but mm -hmm. they wanted to get rid of me. So because of my family, they just pushed me through. I mean, get him out of here. Let him go. Just let him go. Mm -hmm. Really, get, let, let him go. <laughs> He's a, a terror. I mean, I, it, it, it wasn't that bad, but it was. It was fun. It was fun. <laughs> it was fun. So after high school, my, you know, my brother wanted me to go to college. And all my brothers are going to college in the numbers of six. I said, Daddy, you know, I, I said, I had I enrolled in college. I enrolled <laughs> my, my, my freshman okay. year. I didn't have one book. <laughs> I didn't attend one class. Oh so finally, <clears throat> finally, I said, I said, Daddy, you know, you're wasting your money and my time. Okay. He said, well, somebody gonna get? What, what are you gonna do? With <laughs> well, they had passed me to go to be a no, I wasn't doing that. Mm -hmm. I mean, that was gonna happen. I know that's right. You know, I had made plans to go to go to Canada, mm -hmm. but. Right. Um, but finally, the, the, the draft ended shortly thereafter, so I didn't have any problem. So I said, Dad, I want to move to New York. He said, what the hell are you going to do in New York? I said, I'm going to, I'm going to do me. When I was a child, so my father was in banking. And when I was a child, people would ask me, what are you going to be when you grow up? I said, I want to be a banker like my daddy. I was like a little kid. By the time I got to be eight, I said, what are you, you, know, you going to be when you grow up? I said, I'm going to go to New York and be a star. I had no idea what this I had, I had watched too many old Hollywood movies. You know, hence it. In fact, I, I got to show you this. Because Norbert just got me this today. This is the, uh, the rest. This picture is right here on the wall. That's the picture. So these guys were my idols. They were my idols, and, you know, and they all wore hats and guys and diamonds and they wanted to, they just, you know, they wanted to, um, you know, that's the life I wanted. And I spent the last 40 some years perfecting this, sitting on this stool doing what I just drew. I, I tried to chase, but, you know, those people were my idols. That's the day I adoring them. And so I moved to New York when I was 19. Wow. 1972. This picture, I was just coming to New York with the dick hat, you know, the iceberg slim hat, and the pink shoes. You know. <laughs> Super fly. <laughs> and so I moved to New York at 19 and um, had to run on this street. So I've been there since 1972. Wow. Yeah, it's a blessing. Wow. Now I had to go through hell to keep this place. Oh, sure. Trust me which is what the main thing of what my book is about. 
because they put me through hell to get to my home. But what they didn't understand was that God put me here. And when God put you somewhere, you can bring all the forces you want. Yes. And they came at me with heavy artillery. Okay. These were wealthy white folk. Okay. And they wanted my home. But God kept me here. Okay. And so, <laughs> but, so um, I got here. I hope you don't mind me telling these stories. Okay, because see, I'm working on my show. And I need, I'm using this to work it out. In fact, God was here. Bless God is such a lot of love you. Yeah. 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 Don is just so supportive. Somewhere. Okay. And she really, she's just special. So, special but Don was here yeah. years ago. In fact, it's on YouTube. We're dancing to Obey the Baby. Wow. But I said to Don, you know, I, I was working out my Nancy Wilson tribute. Mm -hmm. And, and Don was, uh, he had just a small house right here. And I said, it's going to be, you know, it's, it's going to be a big show one day. And it was at the Sugar Bar. Mm -hmm. And you were at the beginning of that. So now you're